Let's go ahead and see how you can put conditional formatting in Excel. I'm using Excel for Mac for the time being. Okay, so my Excel has just started. So over here, in order to create conditional formatting, all I need to do is select the columns where I want the conditional formatting to be applied, go down to Format, click on Conditional Formatting. I have the option to apply the rules that I'm going to create to the current selection that I just selected the columns or to the entire sheet. Now, to add the rule, you need to click on this plus button. I'm going to create a simple rule where it detects any text or any values in a particular cell and changes the color of that cell. So I'm going down to classic option. Over here, I'm saying format only cells that contain specific text containing. So say for example, if I'm going to say red, this should be filled with light red and dark red text. So if I do OK, and if I again do a OK, now if I write red anywhere, there you go. It is automatically had a light red fill and the text color has changed to dark red. Let's go ahead and create one more rule. Again, I'm going to format, conditional formatting. This time, although I have selected four rows A, B, C and D, I'm sorry, four columns A, B, C and D. I'm going to apply this rule to the entire sheet. So that even the existing rule will be applied to entire sheet. Okay, again going to classic, format only cells that contain and this time I'm going to say green. And this I'll do a green fill with dark green text. Okay, so let me change the formatting for this sheet. Now let's go ahead and try if it works over here. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, something has gone wrong. It's still working on the same column, not on the entire sheet. Let's go ahead and see how it works. Over here, I can select the entire sheet by simply clicking on this place. And the same I can do by simply copying and pasting the area rule. Okay, that's done. Now let's see if it applies to everywhere. Well, it does. Okay, so we created two rules, green and red, that automatically do the fill and change the text color. That is how you create basic conditional formatting in Excel. This lets you create several rules, not just two rules, to automatically change the text color. For example, if you are creating an office sheet where you are putting up the training, the training sessions for your clients, you want that if you write pending, it should automatically become red. If you write training done, it should automatically become green. So we can do that from here as we did for red and green. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so if it contains pending, change the color to red. Notice that I can also do a custom format where I can myself select the color and the text color, the fill that I would like any border that I would like, as well as the text color. So if I want it to be high red, the font to be white and bold, and the text size to be 11. Okay, it's not allowing me to select the text size. Okay. So this is how it will appear. Now let's go ahead and try it. Again, I'll just do a copy paste from here to apply it to the entire sheet. 
rather than only a few rows. It's done. Okay. So there you go. Now if I write pending anywhere, notice that it's not case sensitive. You can write pending in small case as well as large case. Okay. So that's it. It's quite simple, it's quite straightforward, but I myself use it in my office on a daily purpose and I know that it's very helpful. So go ahead and use it guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.